right hand side is the non-sprinkler room and the one you see on the left hand side is the sprinkler room. There's one sprinkler head in this room and you'll see the tremendous effect that the fire has on the non-sprinkler room first and then we'll move on to the sprinkler room. So what will happen is we'll have, we have a clock here and we're going to look at some times from smoke detector activation and that such. But I just want to look at the rooms and can I, anybody raise their hands if they live off campus? Does anybody live off campus here? Okay, so anybody live in a one or two family or a three family house? So this this room, although it's a although it's a, a children's room made up to be, this can be an off campus room. So what we want to demonstrate to you is how fast the fire can move and come to what we call flashover state. Okay? Good? Yep. So we're, we're going to create ignition and what we're going to do is we're going to ignite it from the back and the fire is going to start in the trash in the trash can you see in the rear, in the middle of the room. And once the fire ignites, we're going to start the clock and we're going to take some measurements here of time. So we have ignition in the room. So this is what we call an incipient stage fire, correct? Something we could put out with a fire extinguisher if we had to. And we see the, the clock running. So you're going to see the smoke start to develop. The fire extending up, up the curtain behind the bed. So at 24 seconds, the smoke detector activates. That's the only protection you have to get out of this room once that smoke detector activates. So we have about three minutes in a regular residential fire to get out of the fire. If not, we have casualties. And as the fire grows, we're in the growth stage, correct? So we see the fire rolling across the ceiling. As the fire rolls across the ceiling, the temperatures are starting to increase. Now we're at 50 seconds. The next thing you're going to see is full involvement, which is called a flashover fire. When the fire gets to that rate, the temperatures in this room can exceed over 2,000 degrees. It's untenable. You're not getting out of this room. It's just not going to happen. So we're not at flashover yet. So as you can see the room involved, that's flashover. Total room involvement, flashover. Okay? Guys, move in. Now they're going to put the fire out with an inch and three quarter line. So we're at a minute and 40. A minute and 40 seconds to reach the flashover stage of a fire. Now think about it, a minute and 40 seconds we have great response times in the city of West Haven, but we're not getting there in a minute and 40 seconds. So think about if you're in this room. If you're in this room, it's not tenable. You're not getting out. So we have casualties. Two minutes to extinguishment. So we understand when we see the next burn box go up, we're going to understand the importance of having a fire sprinkler in the home. And this is the reason why we're here today. This is the reason why we developed a state coalition to try to develop some legislation to stop what happens here. This could be an off-campus room. This could be a little children's room. So we have extinguishment. So everybody saw the tremendous effect of that fire, right? Everybody saw how fast we go from an incipient stage fire to the growth phase to flashover and total room involvement. Now we're going to look at it in another situation. We're going to ignite the same exact fire, same exact room, same exact setup, and we're going to look for the same effect. But this is a sprinkler room, and we're going to see the time so a minute 40 to flash over in that room. And two minutes to the extinguishment. We're going to light this fire and we're going to do the same time and see what happens in this room.
So we have ignition. You can see a little bit of smoke there. Don't blink. I'm telling you, don't blink. It's going to be over. You can see the window. Smoke detector activated, 19 seconds. So remember we talked about prevention, we talked about notification, and we talked about suppression. We're at 30 seconds. Now the curtain is, is being burned by the fire, and we're at, at 40 seconds. As the heat builds up to that sprinkler at probably about 150, we have activation at 47 seconds. At 47 seconds, sprinkler activation. That fire is out. And yes, we have a little bit of smoke, but that's tenable smoke. That's a lot of smoke from the steam, and we also still have the plexiglass in place. A minute, 40 seconds to flash over, and 40 seconds to sprinkler activation. Which room would you rather be in? I think the one on the left. So as you saw today, the reason why we're doing this is to save people lives. And in this room here, you're gonna walk away. And here's another benefit. This room has minimal water damage, right? Minimal water damage. You're not going to be out of your house for a year. You're certainly not going to have to pay, the, the insurance company's not going to have to pay $150,000 to $200,000 loss. It's some sheetrock and flooring. Simple thought in my mind. I'd rather do it, I'd rather have the sprinkler room. We save lives, we save property, and people aren't getting injured.